What's up guys? We're out here on uh, my 2022 Ibex hunt and uh, it's been fun so far. It's the second to the last day of the archery ibex hunt and uh, it's coming down on the wire but this morning I glassed up a pretty pretty big billy up here in this cliffside and uh, he's tucked away pretty good but he's still bedded as of right now and uh, Luke is right above him and um, the plan is this we're hoping this billy comes around for this cut to the north just where he's bedded and I'm trying to guide Luke in right to this spot where I think he should have a shot, hopefully. Um, Luke's getting into position now, so we just need this Billy to follow the script and hopefully hopefully Luke can at least get to draw his bow back on this thing because it's been a pretty tough hunt so far. So uh, fingers crossed and we're gonna see how this thing turns out, but should be pretty awesome. He's way up there. Pretty cool watching it all unfold from, from way down here, so. Uh, hoping for the best. Let's see what happens. I don't know. I can't see him no more. So, but he was hung. Ninety-five percent sure he was hit twice. Dang, dude, he's got to go down. He was, he was dead asleep. I was sitting here trying to get ready. Uh -huh. Look across. <laughs> Fifty yards, dude. He's dead asleep. <laughs> like, no way. Freak. So. I see a little part of his vitals in his shoulder. So I'm like, dude, I'm just causing this thing. So I took my time, got my breath. And I, I mean, I smacked him right in the shoulder. The arrow came out. Then he jumped up on a rock again. And I guessed him. Uh -huh. And I shot, and I think I hit him in the gut. Okay. I, I hit him that second time. Hey. Hey, I see him. He ain't dead. Is he hurting? Yeah, he's, he's bleeding. Can you get to him, or what do you what do you think? No, I think where he's at, I'll just watch him. I'll just wait him out. See if he beds down or something. And I can see blood on both sides. He's got a real bad limp. Okay. You. This thing's gonna die. Yeah. I just gotta keep an eye on it. Okay. Is there? Where is are it, you at? I'm still down here on this hillside. See how? Wow, well, that's that's a big task. Um, Well, it's the, it's the last day of my Ibex hunt, and uh, 
I, I shot one yesterday, hit him not great, kind of far back, and uh, we watched him bed down last night and was able to watch him the rest of the day. And, uh, so we hiked back up here this morning and uh, were able to lay eyes back on him. He's right back over there. So we're gonna we're gonna get up to him, and uh, I'm excited to lay my hands on him. Real excited. Right here. Holy frick, dude. I can't believe it. Golly. Hot dang, dude. Stinky crazy, dude. That's awesome. Man. Wild creatures. Jeez. Did it. I did it, man. I can't believe I did it. He's a good one, too. Oh, man. It's everything I could have asked for, dude. Everything. Get it, man. I'm here with my 2022 archery ibex here in, in October um, and I figured I'd sit here and tell you the story on how I got him. Uh, so it was, it was yesterday actually whenever I was making a play and uh, Derek was down low glassing for me and I decided to hike up to the highest point essentially that there it is and um, Derek managed just to glass up one billy and um, so the plan was for me to sneak down up over him. We didn't think that we can get right there on him and make a shot. So I was going to get down to this tree and this little grass bench and see what we can do from there. And so I had to, I had to climb down at least 100 and, 150, probably 200 feet down and then over 150 yards just, just to get to this, this tree and this grass bench. And I get all the way to that point without without kicking one pebble over. And uh, I just happened to look up and this thing was dead asleep right across the little cut from me. And so somehow I didn't didn't manage to wake him. And he was he was sitting there sleeping in a little little crevice in the rock. And so I got my bow out, knocked an arrow, and let one fly. And I had to shoot between a, a rock and a shoulder blade and just managed to smack him right in the shoulder blade real hard. Um, and he takes off up the cut. So I knock another arrow and I, I guessed him at 70 some, just kind of throw my pins above him and let another arrow fly and I hit him real far back. Um, and that that's the arrow that eventually put it into him. But we saw him take off across he went up over the ridge and I saw him lay down right here and uh, we decided that we'd come back in the morning since he was still kicking around and we showed up today and it's the last day of the hunt 
and uh, I got myself an Ibex. So so here we are. I I got to thank all the guys. I mean Colby, Mike, Derek for all the work that they put in. I appreciate them so much. There's so many things that that just went went right miraculously for this home. So.